Good morning. Today we are at Botanical Bay, almost at the end of the Juan de Fuca Trail. And as we're coming down the stairs, we saw, I just saw this huge thing like spooting air and then jump a little and then fall over. And I thought it was a whale because it was way too big. But we're pretty sure now it was a big old orca male with a huge pectoral fin. And we rushed down here and we saw a little bit of him swim around. Of course, I didn't film it because he was so far away. It would have been like this little speck. But we're hoping he comes back or more of his friends or something or his girlfriends show up or something. I don't know. Or swim. But he went way down that way. Sorry. Uh, we don't have anything for you. <laughs> but maybe next time. It's pretty cool though. It's nice hiking here. It's all rocks along here so you can kind of hop around. And for the most part, it's got really good grip. So it's a ton of fun. There's a ton of people down there on the bottom. And they're just walking out. We're gonna head down there too and check out the tide pools in a little bit, but we're hoping more whales come by. Wow. Yeah, they just came up. There's two right there. All right, we got orcas coming towards us. We're at a high point. Hopefully we see them. We thought something was going to happen because we saw this boat just cruise over from the left. And there's a white boat way under. He's coming this way as well. But it's going to look tiny on video. <laughs> I'm recording in 4K so I could zoom in a little, but... We're really hoping that boat that showed up doesn't scare it away. Or the, them away. There's two. Ah, uh, we haven't seen them a little bit. Alright, I'll record once I see them. Oh, there they are. Little fins! Oh, the boat's close. Hopefully they come out longer like before. Uh, well, we'll see. Right in front of the boat. Aw. Oh, I wonder if they're throwing food out there or something. Oh, they came out again. They're big. Oh, there they come. Oh. oh, that's a big fin. That's one. Where's the other guy? It should be coming out soon. Oh, wow! Wow! That's two, yep. Maybe they're brothers. Wow. Ooh, I heard that one. They're not coming out as long as they did that first time we saw them.
Here I am just walking around looking for orcas and I just realized all this black stuff, that's not just rock, there are mussels covering tons of these rocks all in front of us and this is a huge brunt. It's pretty crazy, look at all that. Oh my gosh, it just goes all the way down. They're all up higher too. I guess there's enough water in there that they can survive, but they're all in this ravine here. Pretty cool. And there's random people all over just walking around. And there are at least two boats that look like tour boats, maybe. So there could be orcas coming or out there somewhere. And I'm just not looking up at the right time and not seeing them. So mussels or orcas. Check out these weird deep pools. They're just random bubbles of tide pools here and there. I don't know if they're connected underneath. It's just so bizarre. And some get deep. Check this part out. Nice and wet and slippery and an angle right into the pool. I almost slipped. So odd right here, there's just rock walls. There's even parts that look like slides when they go down to this flat area. It's almost perfectly flat area except just a bunch of holes filled with water and life. There's random boulders buried in there too. It's hard too so it's like if it's sand it's really packed in. Sandstone and then random tide pools over here next to it. Look at all that pink algae. Wow. Some of the trail comes right along this shore and you gotta walk amongst all these rocks. Nice volcanic rock. And some of the rocks, the smooth parts are super slippery so watch out if it looks wet. And today the high tide isn't too high so we're not worried about getting cut off but if it was super high tide, you'd definitely get cut off here. 
it's a pretty fun trail. And then we go up and over this rock and we get to get to the other beach. Some people are just tromping around, stepping on everything and killing everything. And we saw two people with sticks just poking everything and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what people are up to. Alright, we're along the side of this little smooth rock surface. All this green stuff is slimy looking. Eh, not too not too bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot slippier than it was. And there's another beach. And I guess the official trail is in there somewhere. Check out these amazing rocks just poking out the uh, the softer rock as well. Amazing. All over. So cool. We're on this pretty wild rock with these rocks just embedded in them. They're pretty, pretty crazy. It's a little moisture here, but this is the end of the trail for us. I think we could get across, maybe. But if you slip and fall, the price is you're gonna slip all the way down into the water. And uh, there's nothing easy to grab onto. So yeah, we'll, we'll pass. Maybe if it was low tide, but on the other side there's this cool lava rock area. Totally different color and everything. And another beach. This one even has a face on it. Scary. Uh oh. We are heading back now. We came that way, but it's way too slick. And we don't want to go that way. And we're actually going to another beach, so we're just going to take the easy trail Back to the car and then off to the beach after shaking some rocks out of the shoes and drinking a Pepsi. We're now at Parkinson Creek. We're gonna walk the beach up and down from there. And look, these two cars are parked in the shade like normal people and some whack job parked his car in the sun deliberately. All right, we're off. We hit Parkinson Creek and we decided to head north because it looked like there's more time on the shoreline. And we come upon this. Lots of rocks, but it looks like we'll be able to walk it. Today's high tide right now, but the high tide's pretty low, so relative to the other high tide, so we think we can get all the way over there. So we're gonna go as far as we can, actually, see what happens. There's several trails that cut back in to the alternate trail, which is in the woods, so it won't be too bad. There's a bear right over the ravine here. He was sticking his nose up. I think he smelled something, but he didn't smell us yet. He hasn't looked over yet, but... Uh, I hope he didn't come this way. His, his snout is kind of whitish. I wonder if he's older. He's going away, though. He's not the biggest bear, but... Uh, he's coming back. No way, he's going away. There he is again. He's still walking away. Da 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 da. Yeah, we're not going to go further because we don't want to get on some rock shelves and corner him somewhere. And plus he's going away. We don't want to follow him. Yeah, I guess that's the end of our trail on this part. <laughs> I wonder who's coming south right now. The one to Juan de Fuca. Oh, you see? He's down there. Oh, man, he was fast. There he is, still walking along. He's right by the water. I really would love to watch him eat something. Oh, he's right by the water. Oh, oh, is he going to take a dip? What's he doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought he was going to jump in. He still has no idea we're here. Oh, I thought he was going to jump in. I want to see him do something funny, like get splashed and go, oh. He 
It's so casual. It's a mom and a cub on the other side of the beach. Tina, we're trapped by bears. This one's a mom and a cub. I wonder if they know there's another bear up down here. It's a mom and a cub. What is that? That's three on trail within a matter of minutes. That's a big mom. That's way bigger than other moms we've seen. Oh, well, uh, Tina, we got our wish. We are still watching the mama and the cub, and then Tina's looking the other way for the, the, the other one. They're still there, and uh, they're between us and the trailhead by a large margin, so as we walk back, we're gonna have to make a lot of noise. This is a huge, I think, Um, the mama was turned with her back arched for a while, staying still. What do you think she was doing? Hey Tina, what does it mean when an animal is like arching their back and staying still for a while? Smelling? Maybe pooping. As far as we can tell from here with this camera, no binoculars, they're just laying on the rocky beach. Uh, we're gonna cross this part here and then uh, before the high tide comes in so we can get over it and then climb up to the next big rock and watch him some more. That is a big mommy! The giant mama and the cub are still over there and we've been screaming and they've been looking straight towards us and we're waving our arms but together Tina and I we're not I don't think we're even nearly as big as the one mama bear by herself so uh, in fact we were hoping they would walk to the woods, but they actually walk closer to the water. Like, she does not care about us at all. So we're just going to take a seat, maybe have a snack, and uh, relax for a while. Keep checking our backs. Oh, but now they're moving. Uh, the good thing is, at least they got up. So they're not going to just sleep on the beach there. Yeah, and they know we are here. I think that's good. Yes, they know we are here. And we're far enough away. But that's that's a big mama. We just keep checking our backs every now and then. Uh -huh. and I'm not eating anything. I don't want to have to <laughs> open any scent that they could like. So you don't want me to break out my pepperonis and just eat them? Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that? Okay. Yep, we're still sitting here. We're waiting for the two bears to leave the beach. The cub is super cute. It's really nice that we get to sit here and just watch them. They're heading up to the water and they come back. But we still can't do much. Um, now they're walking away, but they go the way we need to go. Yeah, they're walking away by the way we need to go. And they're walking towards a tall rock. So at least I'm half expecting someone to just come over to the other side and be like, because <laughs> it'll be really close to where the bears are. But, uh,. I guess we'll just keep sitting here. They're, they're, they're going down the trail. Uh, what do we do if we can't see them? Because it looks like they might go around the tall rocks. Then we should just keep on walking so we do know where they are. Just make some noise and stuff. I mean, they know we're here. They acknowledged us and they at least looked over a few times. Yeah, this one's a video. Now they're moving. But now they're moving, but they are not moving very fast. We gotta walk right through where they're standing. Hello! Yeah, I see you seeing us. Keep keep walking. Yeah, we're we're super big and dangerous. We're, we're both about as heavy as you are. Together. Yeah, together. Oh, uh, why is she just circling? Uh, I kind of wish it was just a single bear there. It's always a mom and a cub. Yeah, that's the mom, definitely. The mom's up by the woods, by the log there. We're hoping she, yup, oh, maybe they're gonna finally go in. We won't be able to see them behind that log. Oh, oh, they're a little after, or is it right at the buoy? Oh man, they're taking the trail. Uh, 
Oh, no, wait, the cop is on the right. No, nope, they're coming. They're staying. Yeah, that's the mom. The mom's staying. She's not. There's the cop behind her. They're not taking a trail. Hey, well, at least they go further down the seashore. We can take the trail up. I guess we can get a little closer. All right, folks, we think this is the area where they were laying down, and I think this is where the mama bear pooped. So I'm looking for poop. But we're nearing the buoys, or buoy, so that's where the trail is, and we're gonna just take off. But no sign. I thought it was right, right around here somewhere. Nothing. Boring. Yeah, they were below the rocks on the right hand side, and I haven't seen them anymore. We made it to a buoy up there, but unfortunately, we have to go to the right to climb up. So we're gonna get a little closer this way. I'm probably gonna get closer than Tina wants me to. <laughs> is that it or is that shadows? Every black shadow is a bear to me now. Now nah, they're just shadows. That's why I don't see them because everything looks like a bear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, shall we, shall we head up? Yeah. Okay, we can cross here. Good adventure. I don't see them. But we still have to hike super close to the coast for a bit. Yeah, we do. We should talk loudly the whole time we're out there. Heading up. All right. At a beach just northwest of China Beach, we saw a brown mink, but it got away. Fortunately, it was too interested in Tina to notice me with the camera. Finally. We got our third mink on camera this time. You're right, they are sea otters. Oh my gosh! Where'd they go? Did it get any better today? Oh my gosh, I think they are sea otters. Well, look, check out. Yeah, they have like sharp tails. They're not. Uh, yeah, that's what I told you. And they're really thin. Filament? Yeah. There they are. Wow, look at them swim. Holy cow. We are seeing everything there today. Are many of them, like five or something. I'd say I see at least five. And then they all go down, then they disappear for a while. Yeah, why is it so upright? His head's sticking way out. All in one day. Only if I had this camera in the beginning. For the night, we headed to Jordan River Regional Park to cook and eat dinner while enjoying the sunset.
Good morning, it's another day here at Vancouver Island. Today we are at the China Beach Deyusi area again. Yesterday we parked here and went down to the beach just for that little bit and we saw the, all the river otters. Today we're gonna head north and hit the Juan de Fuca Trail and hopefully walk along as much beach as possible today, we'll see. Our goal was to try to get to Bear Beach and then come back. But I think we're just gonna go out for three hours and come back three hours because Sometimes when things are really cool, you just want to explore, not necessarily worry about the kilometers, right? Talk to you later. Here we go, Pete Wolf Creek. We've got another suspension bridge. It's just like the other one, much bigger, but I have a feeling it's not gonna shake. Nah, it's nothing like it. Man, I do love those Rainier, Mount Rainier National Park suspension bridges. They're amazing. This one's high up though. Yes, very high up. It's shaking more. Check out these massive pylons here at each end. There's two on each end. And super duper heavy. Cable. Oh, I hear voices. On this segment, they have these orange markers with smiley faces on them, but they're reflective, so it must be really nice when you're hiking in the dark and you got a headlamp on. Pretty easy to follow trail because of those. And we're finally going down, so hopefully we're going down to the beach. I guess if you just follow the girl in the purple too, it's an easy way to follow the trail. There he is again. Oh, he's staying up for a little while. He's looking around. Oh, oh there he's going down. You see him? Yeah, I don't see anything in his mouth. Just in the tip of the rock. Right? Yeah, just in the very tip. Wow, well, he's swimming all of a sudden. The seagulls are going crazy around them though. Yeah, probably ate most of it and finishing up. <laughs> 